Hi, this is John from TheRingLord.com. I'm going to be demonstrating three-quarter Persian and how to connect the ends of it together to be able to wrap cabs, or in this case, a laser-engraved anodized aluminum disc. Now, making three-quarter Persian is pretty much exactly the same as making full Persian. You're just skipping one of the rings. You can also make it by taking one of the rows out of full Persian. But it is definitely less work to, to make from scratch than it is to make full Persian and then, and then take it apart. Okay, so starting just with a four rings through one, the same as you'd start European four and one. And the only difference for full Persian, you'd have a second ring going through the four. But that one we're skipping. Now folding back. And normally we'd have another, sort of another ring that we're folding back and we'd be going between the rings, but now we're just going on the one side of the ring. And for the first step here, it's not particularly stable yet. Okay, now we're going through this ring and then folding back and going through the one that's before it but in the same row. And then the same on the other side of the of the weave. So whereas in full Persian we're always doubling everything, in this case we're only doubling every second step. And now this is the step where we're just just putting one ring, and see we're putting that one ring such that it's laying on top of the ring in the same row before it. So putting it here would be wrong, and putting it here is correct. So, if you can weave full Persian, you can weave three-quarter full Persian. Now, the only real reason for making three-quarter Persian is it has a bit of a groove Basically, that, that missing side allows it to sort of open up, and that opening can be used to sort of capture the edge. And I'll demonstrate more of that later. But in order to, to make or to nicely wrap a cab, you need to be able to connect the ends together to to make a, a ring like this. Okay, so I'm just going to use this longer piece that I already had assembled, and we're going to connect the ends together. Now, while there are a couple of ways that you can do this, I have found the easiest method is to basically have the ends prepared to the right 
spot and then use the rings that you that you have just opening sort of reopening rings that are already already uh, woven onto the chain and putting them onto the other end. The other method of course is using new rings and it is significantly harder to keep track of everything. So in general you just want to make sure you have no twists in your chain which is actually fairly difficult to get a twist in your chain. And you can see how see on this side we have sort of a, a V coming to a point and we want that point to be able to go inside forming a, forming the next V and then looking this way we have all of our sort of backbone rings nicely lined up one on top of each other and we just want to make sure that the matching rings on the other side continue the same pattern so we'll start with the we'll start with the what we'll call the backbone ring which is this one that's sort of at the let's see these guys the ones that are forming the the back of your of your C channel and oh it's fairly important that your that your ends look like this so you can see on this this end we have basically the last step that was that was done was adding the adding the the two rings and on this side we have it like this last step that was done is adding one ring or it could be your starting point okay so we are going to open this ring and okay we want to put that like that Okay, so we're going underneath underneath the, the ring that's in the same row. Yeah, but we have to do it while staying within these two rings. So basically you're there. Going through that ring, then these two, and then your outside ring. There we go. Like this. And you can see how we have all rings in the same the same plane. All that we have is these this ring plus the matching ring on the other side will need to will also need to be opened. So that one we open that one. and put it through the outside ring and then just flip it over and do the same on the other side Now, I used larger rings for demonstrating. This is definitely a little bit, a little bit too big for my, uh, for my disc. But I will demonstrate using, using this. Now, of course, getting getting the size exact is, is a little bit tricky. And then it we'll, might take some trial and error. Um, in the case of well, this kit that we're selling, it takes exactly. Uh, 93 rings, 31 sort of 31 sort of sets, so 31 times 3 rings to to hold this this disc that we'll be providing. Now to basically insert the disc, it's not a matter of connecting the 
the chain around the disc. That would be virtually impossible. What we're doing is you sort of rotate your uh, your ring until your until the gap is sort of at the top, and then you sort of press in your disc, and then you twist, and basically you want to twist such that you have captured the disc into the weave. Now this sort of stays in place, but it's certainly not not in there really good. All it takes is just the right twist to, to pop it out. So it's it's really firm against uh, falling out sort of by yanking on on the chain or, or, or by pushing, but it's really easy to fall out by twisting the chain. So putting putting like a bead of glue on the back or something like that can can, can help. Uh, what can also help is basically getting as tight a fit as possible. And one thing that I've noticed is if you, say, put two discs, you'll make it just a little bit thicker, which makes uh, makes the, uh, the band here a little bit tighter. There we go. And basically now every single ring here is sort of acting as a as an elastic to, to to hold it in place and it's you can still twist it but it's it's certainly harder to twist than it was yeah much harder there we go now this can be used just you can uh, take a ring and put you could put a ring through the through the holes but it takes a very large ring and looks a little bit a little bit awkward I'd suggest just putting a ring through through two rings of your Persian for three quarter Persian chain, and then you can attach it to oh, like a like a necklace or a nice matching carabiner to use as a zipper pull or something. Or we also have various other products that it can be can be used with, including, say, like a brooch pin, just sort of gluing a like gluing a brooch pin onto the back. Even bookmark, sort of keychain, all sorts of options.